Hello everyone. Today we are gonna continue working on our mosaic owl faces. So last time you were here, we started by adding two layers of mosaic paper pieces around our owl's eyes. Today we're gonna to add two more layers and a beak. So the third layer is gonna be the fancy layer. So for the fancy layer, you get to get pattern paper. So you'll pick it out and I suggest you get two just in case um, one is not enough. But once again, you will cut your paper into long skinny strips to start with. Now this one's a little shorter than this one is. So I'm just gonna put that there and then cut these. And then I'm gonna stack them all together straighten them up and then I'm gonna go at one end and cut straight lines to make my rectangles okay so there's over here onto the side and once again I'm gonna take my glue and I'm going to swirl it around wipe it on the side and then we're overlapping so you're Next row should be touching the row that you already put on. So it shouldn't be way out here. There shouldn't be a space. It shouldn't just be touching like this. It should be overlapping. So then I'm going to take my glue and swirl it around. So it's touching the layer that you stopped with. adding my mosaic pieces. Making sure they are overlapping so they are touching the row that you just did and they're also touching the black paper. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Wipe the glue around so it's touching the layer that I did before. Okay, and once again, I'm going to tile these around. Now, I'm going to get one more layer of bright colors. So I picked purple this time. Cut them into skinny strips. Line them up best I can. Cut them into rectangles. Okay, and then I got one more row. Now, some of you might get to the point where your rows are touching in the middle. If that happens, don't feel like you need to put the next row down the middle. You can just go around the outside like this. So once again, now I will be able to sneak it through, but you might not be able to. I'm just gonna go around outside with the glue. Do my bright row. go. 
Now I will only be able to put one little row of purple through here. So I, when I go on this eye, I'm not going to put another row of purple. I'm just gonna kind of count that as being a part of it. Pick up where I left off, the purple in the middle. do for today is I'm going to cut a beak. So beaks are the shape of triangles. Hold on, here's my pencil. And so, but it's an upside down triangle, but you can always draw a regular triangle and then just cut it upside down, which is what I'm going to do. So to make my triangle, I'm going to make a dot and then I'm going to kind of draw a little, little faint line down below and then off to the side of those lines, I'm gonna draw a dot and then another dot. And then I'm just gonna play connect the dots. So then I'm gonna cut out my triangle. And then I'm gonna put it right down here. When you've done two more rows, one a fancy row, run one another bright row, and you've added a beak, then you're gonna put it on the drying rack. Next time you come, we will add neutral colors. Those are not bright colors to fill in the rest of our owl. Put it on the drying rack, and then you may free draw.